The Takeover on Power 92. India here right now. Ah! Shout out to the boy Chance, the rapper. What's good with you, kid? Hey, hey, yeah. hey, what's up with hey, you guys? Man, hey, I appreciate you coming through. Woo! I appreciate you guys having me. Man, much love to you, bro. Hey, tell us right now how you feel to be a young man in the shine. Your 10 day mixtape is like nah, taking man. off with the buzz right now. I'm feeling great right now. My birthday is tomorrow, too. So if any bad females want to call up, I oh. oh. wish you a happy birthday. You got the message line. right there. Yeah, no, I'm feeling great, though. I appreciate you guys for having me, too. Man, it's our pleasure. You know what? Chance, you're going so hard out here, man. We're going to have to come back in a few yeah. with you, man. We got Chance the Rapper yeah. right here in the studio. It's the Takeover on Power 92. Still here chilling with my homie Chance the Rapper. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Hey, Chance, you see your fan base is nuts out nah. here. You got, like, boo cool Twitter and yeah, boo nah. chicks. I, I, love, I love all of my fans, I swear to God. You know what? I don't know if you knew Chance, <laughs> but you also have a big fan right here in the studio right now. Ana Bree is like the biggest Chance the Rapper fan I know. Ana yeah. Bree is so bad. I, I, I'm what a fan of yours, yo. All right, Chance. So I know you performed at South by Southwest, and you touched the stage with some of the greatest rappers ever, Jay Z and Kanye West. How did that feel? It was crazy touching the same stage as Jay Z and Kanye West. It was super wild. <laughs> was it like surreal? Yeah, it was surreal. It was almost like it didn't happen. Oh man, how much time to give you up there? Like an hour, hour and a half. What? Yeah, man, it was wild. That's nuts. Mm-hmm. And you know what? See, I know that's like a memory, right? Yeah, so it's I, something I'll remember and treasure forever. Like shout out to Jay Z and Kanye West for big shout to them. for doing all these shows with me, yeah, straight up. All right, Chance. So I know you got the mixtape ten day, and it's actually a marvelous, marvelous mixtape. Um, what was uh, the motivation you. behind that? Uh, it's actually motivated by a 10-day suspension I received when I was still in high school. I used to go to uh, Jones College Prep. Shout out to still, like, all the Jones alumni. Uh, no shouts to the teachers. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, 10-day 10 10 uh, is doing great right now, and uh, it's, it, it just goes to show that, you know what I'm saying, like, it, to all the rappers in high school or rappers, period, like, it's very easy. Like, do it. Man, do it, do it. You can live your dreams just like Chance just said, man. You setting memories out here. You having memories for lifetimes. I listened to your 10-day mixtape. One of the songs that stuck out to me was Nostalgia. Oh, yeah? You know what I mean? Like, that stuck out to me. You took me down memory lane. I was thinking about uh, House of Kicks and all that. Like, <laughs> oh, I went yeah. way back with it. Can you just give me, like, a run back of maybe your earliest recollection of MCing? Like, the earliest recollection of you becoming the chance um, to rap? I'm trying to think of a good, good memory. Uh, One of... uh, I remember one, one of the coolest things that's happened to me actually recently. Like, this is... Like, I, I actually started, one of the first songs that I dropped off at 10 Day was this joint called Brain Cells, uh, and it was a remix of a Mac Miller joint, and uh, actually while I was recording that 10 Day project, uh, the, the intro, 14400 Minutes, uh, Mac Miller was actually in studio with me, like, you know what I'm saying, hyping me up and telling me how dope the record was, so like, just the transformation from going to high school, just being like a little kid rapper to like, you know what I'm saying, being in the studio with you guys, which I really appreciate. Oh, man. Uh, shouts to Power 92 and the Takeover. It's, it's just crazy. I, I appreciate everything. Indeed. All right, Chan. So since getting all this buzz in the streets, what's one of the craziest things that ever happened to you? What's <laughs> one of the craziest things that ever happened to me? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me is... Uh, Oh, I went to a, I went to a party out at South by Southwest. Shouts to Ill Roots for throwing the illest party out at South by Southwest. There was this party called uh, what is it called? The Ilmore. And uh, every night they would have these celebrities come through this big mansion that they had out there. And uh, there were all types of celebrities in there: uh, Manny Fresh, Lil Wayne, uh, Big Sean, Wiz Khalifa, and one of the the artists who I'm like a huge fan of is Kendrick Lamar. And he actually was coming. He he actually showed up to the party. Uh, but the craziest thing happened. I, I got super faded at the party and passed out. <laughs> and when I was getting carried out, I almost threw up on Kendrick Lamar. Oh, that is man. the craziest thing. Oh, my God. All right, so we know to stay away from, from me. Yeah, when at he parties. Was under that influence. Yep, especially if you're Kendrick Lamar. Man, sure Especially for Kendrick. Kendrick, look out for Chance, man. Any next time you're around him, make sure you stay away from him. So you always having good times. You having good times at parties, man. I heard your, your listening party for, for the yeah. for the 10 day. Nah, that was super successful. Uh shouts to Juggernaut and shouts to Leaders 1354 for so that like, first listening party too. When you when you listen to the track Juke Juke, I heard you had like yeah. 18 chicks juke juke. <laughs> yeah, uh no, nah, that was that was super crazy. Uh people seem to get super hyped for for this song. Uh, uh, it, it's it's definitely pulls from like uh, Chicago's early music with the house movement, and then also the juke mu movement, like in the early two thousands. Like we uh, we actually my my guy Caleb James, uh, shouts to Save Money, uh, and, and Caleb James, uh, produced the track, 
uh, with a guy Chuck Bain, and they and they reached back for that for that old Chicago juke sound that we went with, and uh, it definitely made the track up. All right, Chance, I know it's your birthday tomorrow, so we want yes. to say happy birthday. I'm Thank you so takeover much. We're about to get a happy juice birthday. right here in the yeah. studio right to now. The takeover. Appreciate it. The Takeover on Power 92.